The people, if asked, wow, this plate, where is this from? Then after that, I expand this dish I made. This is a big surprise. Where did you get this? But you know, I made this. <laughs> wow, I want to buy that. <laughs> Okay, not much left. What I do all the time, image what I have and draw it. The image is see, kind of grill the fish. Sometimes from uh, nature, when I'm traveling and see that beautiful big rock, and sometimes the cliff, that sharp edge, gives me idea for the next dish. Sometimes ingredients give me an idea to make a shape. Steak, this kind of very thick, sharp edge, kind of clay, black one. It's a meat shape, kind of very kind of massive, kind of strong. That image it goes to the plate design. Around 1990, I started making own plate bowl dishes. Because there is nothing what I like to put on my sushi, sashimi, grilled fish, all the veggies. There's nothing like what I exactly want. You know? That's what I started making. You know? Same time, I give all the you know, ingredients, black clay with wild yellowtail. Fish is alive before, right before. Slice sashimi. Fish itself has a momentum, you know? still alive. So that time, I want to put something kind of very sharp edge, almost kind of, kind of vessel moving, you know, that kind of image, to bring in the fish, such as... There's a wild yellow tail with skin on it. This is going to grilled buri salt tataki. Yellow tail is in season right now. Then there's a leek, grilled leek. The black one gives to all the ingredients pick up color. The contrast is beautiful, especially kind of red tuna, also a blue fish. This time it reeks, it's very sweet. So we'll go with this booty. Right now it's seasoned. Simply just salt on top. Any kind of beige fish, the red bloody meat works for black. This kind of dish, what I do in Japan, winter time, I do make for all my family. Yep, this is a dish. When I make it, I design it, give the image on paper towel, the back to Japan, they talk to my artist. I show them to me, this is exactly just what I like. Then they copy it, they make it. But each dish is not the same shape, of course. They don't use any mold all by hand. Right? So each piece is different character. This is a beautiful stuff. There's a place, you know, just all the my stuff by design. The last 20 years I designed stuff, it's all in here. Each dish, when I see it, I remember that time, that season, you know, that gives me, oh, this time is I made this, this, that, that, you know. They even, location, I was there. I was in uh, this area, this area, you know. These are, uh, I made in Kyoto. This is a very thin porcelain. So this is kind of rock, sashimi dish or veggie dish. Eight years ago, I made. Depends on the fish, what I do. Oh, this fish goes to this. This fish goes to this. This tells me, brings me back, you know, just that day, that time, you know. That's what I'm thinking is just coming up quickly. So these are things on a daily basis. Sometimes 
I forget a lot of stuff, you know. The, that back to that day, what I drew, what I designed, what I made a menu, all the recipes sometimes on there. So I have to go all the way to back <laughs> to find out. <laughs> this paper is where, where I am, you know. <laughs> That's a paper. Aka Mutsu, which is deep sea snapper. And I will put here maybe green watercress with daikon radish. When I was a kid, all the time I'm making something, you know. That's what I like. Drawing, painting, sometimes I'm making clay, making shape of the kind of you know, animal or something, you know. The grilled akamutsu, snapper. This fish is the best time of the year right now. Eyeball. The daikon radish. Where's the vinaigrette? Then kind of pink, red, the scale on top. There's a fried scale. This also I made a couple of years ago. So it can go anything, you know, grilled fish, a big vessel. I love this dish too. Such a beautiful dish. What I like is all the clay, flat clay, hand rip it. So that natural edge, sharp edge, is what I like for the fish meat. Very simple, you know. But this is a very beautiful, nice, smooth clay. Normally I use stone, but this time I use a cup. Same thing, hitting. See, this kind of stuff is, they catch the sauce or the fish. So little while we make the shelf, make it dry. After that, we're gonna put it in the kiln. Sometimes amazing stuff coming out. Wow, so beautiful, you know? It's, right away, you know, I wanna cook something and put on top of that. Yep. I made a design for, for salad, or grilled salad. Vegetable go direct on the flame. So I'm gonna put here kind of all the mushroom, grill the mushroom. This maitake mushroom, we halfway roast it, just char it a little bit, make it crispy. And today maybe black truffle season, just make a julienne. Okay. Ready? This is maitake mushroom. Crispy gobo roots. Salt of the kombu a little bit. Mix together. So this mushroom goes onto this plate. Also this, the dish is, you can go straight to a steamer. So all the hot steam goes through. Then a little bit, truffle julienne. This is hard. I don't like exact same shape. Square is square. Sometimes small crack is beautiful. Gives more kind of same, same idea. Shibui, image of Shibui is in. There's a watercress. It's in a dashi earlier. A little sauce. So this vessel is going to be black, sharp edge, that kind of plate I'm going to use. This is a grind, black sesame. Mix a little bit. After finish came out nicely, beautifully. That's my most amazing, you know, grateful moment. This is a dish what I made. This is a dashi watercress with the black sesame seed. See that black, the green is beautiful in the contrast. That's what I like. You know. Nature gives me all the time, you know, idea. Sometimes, you know, just, you know, simply just wherever the rock on the 
water side. I take it. I use sometimes my family food. That's beautiful. This idea from uh, when I visit Fukui Prefecture, Japan seaside, they have a cliff. It's like this beautiful, very sharp cliff. The image comes this kind of shape. What I'm creating, I'm making, but this is not not big deal, you know. Still not perfect. There's a little kind of you know, leaf floating on the water. This charcoal on top, they give the, all the texture, the color, co contrast. This I love too. This irregular shape, not perfectly round. What I do, I want to try to do is just try to be simple because the main character is going to be fish ingredients, right? Veggie, meat, whatever. This is for specifically for langoustine I made. The red langoustine coming all the way across here, the body here, tail here. So red with black spot and white is, works very well. Simple plate gives more kind of fish, whatever on top of this, emphasized you know, beautifully. So what I do is just what kind of plate main character they want to be in on top of that plate, you know? what they want to be, you know, on the plate. <laughs>